Here I am at the mast. This is my 12 by 16. And uh, I mentioned the other day that this is the antenna. It really does it for me. It works for the frequencies I have here. And it works very well. I want to try to explain that. One of the uh, viewers, RG, he commented, I, I should do a comparison of the FF4 and maybe against a Hoverman and anyway I wrote back that all these antennas I build they're fairly equal when it comes to how much signal they collect and uh, the uh, strength when they get to the TV that's I mean it, they're very equal now there are differences between each antenna these larger elements on the 12 by 16 they work fabulous for the channels I receive here my channels are not the same as yours everything is different everywhere here's the FF4 is this a better antenna than my 12 by 16 12 by 15 no <laughs> They're, they're very equal when it comes to the amount of signal, the decibel, well, it, I don't get decibels, but uh, my signal reading on the TV, do I get a beautiful channel? Yes, I get all my channels. But what I don't need here, I, I had mentioned this is more antenna than I, do, than I need. What I don't need are these top and bottom bows that are nine and a half inches. I don't have any channels that that these bows fit the wavelength. My channels are 16, 19, 21, and 31. That's perfect for the 12 inch bows. All those uh, 16, 19, 21, 31, they fit beautifully on these 12.5 bows. They don't fit the nine and a half. That's for a larger, that's for a smaller wavelength. Now, we, when we had channels going to 51 and way up to 83, the, the, the bigger bow, the small bows, they were, they were fabulous. They did the job. That old-fashioned uh, four-bay bow tie with the nine, nine and a halfs, really did the job for everyone. Not anymore. Now, if you have channel 33, 34, 35, 36, where you live, you need these smaller bows. That's why I sort of pursued the FF4. So this is sort of a one-size-fits-all. See, I only have so much room on my mast. So if I'm going to put something up. I want it to get the channels I'm receiving. But uh, I can compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges and apples to oranges. And everything has a good point and everything has a bad point. Now, it's not really that there's a difference in the reception. It's a difference in what you're receiving and what you're trying to receive. Uh, I don't compare anything to a Hoverman because the Hoverman... Here's my Hoverman. Uh, the Hoverman still works fabulously for everything. But I could not solve my channel 20 or the uh, channel 16 issue I was having with a Hoverman. I, I tried the Hoverman. I tried the four bay bow tie. I tried, the, uh, I tried several different ideas here. And then uh, when I went to the 12 inch bows or 12.5 inch bows, that solved that problem. I never figured out what exactly the interference was, but the Hoverman is still, it's still a fabulous all around antenna. I at one point tried to expand the Hoverman. These are seven, seven, sevens, and uh, I've I considered a 9 and I considered a 12, going to 12. That would really be a big 
antenna and a big piece of copper. I I didn't do it. I didn't I didn't bend it up. It would be uh, I thought it would be wasteful. But here's here's one of the old uh, nine and a half inch four bay bows, and that worked fabulous for years. But when they changed frequencies here, everybody jumped to or a lot of stations jumped to a lower frequency. The 12 by 16 is a much better choice for me because of my channel lineup. Now the FF4, like I said, it's it's a it's a great all-around antenna. If you have lar if you have channels in the upper frequencies, above 31, above 32, those smaller bows will do the job of picking it up. It's uh, they are great antennas. I mean, this really picks up well, and it has to do with these four. 12 inch bows because I'm, like I said I'm not receiving anything they may pick up some of the uh, the lower frequencies but they they really aren't doing the job like they used to just thought I would mention this so I hope that clears some of the confusion up it's uh it's even more confusing when you get into the commercial antennas because they really don't specify their uh, element length. They really don't tell you much about what it is in their descriptions. They give you a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but it really doesn't tell you anything. Decibels really don't mean much, tell you the truth. It's telling you how much uh, signal you're getting and feeding to your TV and it, it's very difficult to measure it's very difficult to figure it out uh, what you need to know mostly is to match your element size to the wavelength for the frequency you're seeking like I said it, this this channel 16 it was giving me a terrible interference and I had a hell, heck of a time trying to solve it and uh, it did get solved when I put this when I put this uh, 12 by 15 together and stuck it up here just on a whim it solved the problem right away made my wife very happy <laughs> made me very happy so now I have these these two I have one in the shop and there's another one somewhere forget who I gave it to and you got to be careful of comparisons that's all one antenna doesn't really be another antenna it's just that it's it's favoring certain fre frequencies you got to keep that in mind it's, uh, I see people doing this all the time oh this is better than that one not really it's just meant for a different reason I mean you don't take a drag a dragster out to go to the store and you don't take your little Honda out to the drag strip you know it's everything has a purpose see you later guys hope it helped